welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new 4K short throw projector. This here is the WiMAX Nova, a laser projector that shoots at 4K with a built-in surround sound system and wireless connectivity. Now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so check it out. So this here is the packaging. Surprisingly, it is a fairly large box. Now, as you kind of look at it, holy moly, it is quite heavy. So gives a little bit more in terms of the details. So you do get a 4K HDR. It has a laser light source, which is the ALDP 3.0 technology, making this significantly better than other throw projectors. So that is something that is highly recommended with a throw projector. Now this can go up to 150 inches. Today we'll be testing at 100 inches and it's got eight point keystone correction. So it does make it spot on. Uh, it also features an Android TV. So you do have your Google, uh, you have your YouTube, your smart apps, etc. So let's open this thing up and take a look. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Well, that's actually a really cool looking presentation. All right, so this has four movies. So it looks like we have our user guide. Uh, inside here, we'll have a variety of different things, including a cloth to clean it uh, for your lens. And then of course, a user manual here, kind of explaining how to go ahead and use it. Oh, cool. All right, so lovely presentation. Check it out. So this here's our pro throw projector. Definitely a high quality piece of material. Now just kind of looking at it, it has a really impressive stance uh, that we'll look at in just a little bit when we try it out. Uh, inside here we have our remote, a standard remote with Google Home on there, uh, as well as our plug for our output. That is it in terms of content. All right, so some first thoughts. Uh, the projector itself is actually a very high quality. You have this nice futuristic feel to it, which houses a speaker on the front. So this is 4K Ultra Laser Home Cinematic Projector. It's on the side of vents. On the back, you do have a variety of different inputs and outputs. Uh, so it looks like you have three HDMIs, you have a USB, uh, you have an audio output, an AV input, you have a SD, PDIF for surround sound, of course, and then Ethernet port. Now, the beautiful thing about a throw projector is that you can have it right up front of the projector and it'll display it right on the screen. Your power button's right over here, and that is it. So, let's go ahead and plug in this bad boy and try it out. All right, so we're all finally ready to go. So, we have our projector set up with a Vivid Storm rising projector screen. Now, it's very important to have a specific projector screen that's designed for a projector like this. Uh, so be sure to check out the link down below if you wanna learn more about that. Now, this particular projector screen is 100 inch. Obviously, you can go a little bit bigger, but this one here should be able to support that without a problem. Now, if I hit power for a projector, it'll automatically rise up our screen at the same time. That is because our projector has a USB port in the back, which houses a remote USB to control our screen. So if you can go ahead and close this into, say, a media cabinet, you can control it just like this without any issues. Now, this is our Android TV based system. So it'll give you your Netflix, give you your Disney Plus. It'll give you all the variety of apps that you need to go ahead and operate it. And uh, we'll take a look at this very shortly. So it is booting up and it says, do not look directly at the light source. That's because I'm kind of in the range. So it's designed as a safety precaution, which you can technically disable if you wish to. So check it out guys, wow. Now this is actually a very high quality crisp screen. Uh, obviously it is shooting at a 4K projection and you can actually see that it's got a nice hub. So the hub will showcase all the different movies in terms of your Disney Plus goes. Um, and then you also have uh, YouTube, your HBO Max, everything on there is specific to that. Now, the nice thing about this projector screen is I can walk in front of it like this. I can do anything I want around it, but it won't show on there. That's because the projector is only 11 inches or approximately 11 inches 
from the screen itself. Now, based on what size you're making it for, uh, you wanna go ahead and adjust to that based on the manual that it states. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. And uh, I can click on projector here. Uh, I can adjust the focus. The keystone correction, which is the beautiful thing about this, is that you can fine tune your screen. Now, sometimes you might have a little bit of a bleed out on the left or the right, but you can adjust it by simply moving it like this. And you can see on the edge over here, it will start moving based on what you want it to do. So you can get right on the edge, a little bit too much, bring it back and voila. Now you can even go into fine tuning. Uh, you can do an eight point keystone correction and just a variety of other different functions to go ahead and make it even better. Now you also have different projection methods. So you can technically have it as a front projection on the desktop or you can have it on the ceiling too, which will invert the image to go ahead and match that. So you're not limited to just what it is. All right, so moving on, we have our image settings. So this here, you can change the different image modes from standard to movie, uh, as well as the brightness. Uh, and then you have a variety of different inputs. So you have two, uh, sorry, three HDMIs, your AV, and these are different ways to go ahead and control it. So you can even go ahead and connect it via Bluetooth for your surround sound system, so you don't have to worry about having extra wires. Now, the speaker itself is actually a great quality speaker, which you can even use as your own personal Bluetooth speaker by simply hitting the power button here. You can control it via Bluetooth speaker mode. Now moving on, uh, we have different apps as well as different functions, and it's literally a plug and play setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at a video here and see how the quality is. So this will definitely give you more of the theater atmosphere. And wow, look at that. That is so crisp. Now if I increase the volume. I can't, because I didn't see it. Neither did anyone else. Surprisingly, it is actually very, very loud. Um, so you really don't even need to have a surround sound system as it has the Dolby built into it. It's got a nice long speaker bar on the front that creates that 3D sound effect. All right, well, there you guys have it. So overall, a great projector. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a nice high quality piece. This particular unit does look really nice and is very pleasant to see. The quality of it is actually crisp. Now, with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.